In this video, we'll be installing the 6th Element Engineering Dual Exhaust Kit on a 2023 Toyota GR Corolla. For this install, you'll need the following tools. Silicone lubricant, an impact wrench, torque wrench, ratchet, ratchet extension, 16, 14, 12, and 10 millimeter sockets, four millimeter hex or Allen driver, an exhaust hanger removal tool, an adjustable support bar, ramps, jack stands, or a lift, and about 60 minutes depending on your skill level. In the package you receive from Sixth, you'll find a product diagram and packing list, a Sixth Element sticker, an installation card, the exhaust valve mounting bracket and hardware, the center valance mounting bracket, the center valance plate and hardware, the driver and passenger side tip pipes, the resonator, the forward exhaust pipe, the rear S-pipe, the exhaust tips, a band clamp, a forward S-pipe, and the muffler. To start the install, first get the vehicle up into the air with either ramps, jack stands, or a lift. Next, we'll remove the factory exhaust from the mid-pipe back. To start, disconnect the exhaust valve motor and remove the wiring with a panel removal tool or a flathead screwdriver. Now you can use your silicone lubricant on all of the exhaust hangers. Next, using an impact driver and a 14 millimeter socket, disconnect the factory mid-pipe and save the spring bolts for later. Then, using an exhaust hanger removal tool or a flathead screwdriver and the help of a friend or a jack stand, disconnect the exhaust hangers and remove the factory exhaust. With the factory exhaust removed, Use a 10 mm socket to disconnect the exhaust valve motor. Then set this aside to be used later on. Now you can remove the factory exhaust hanger from the center exit with a 12 mm socket. Save these bolts for the next step. Next, assemble the center exit valance plate with the supplied hardware, a 10 mm socket, and a 4 mm hex or Allen key. Using the factory exhaust hanger and 12 mm bolts, mount the center exit valance cover. Position the exhaust hanger as seen here for a later step. Remove the two 10 mm nuts securing the factory heat shield. Then, using the factory nuts, secure the new sixth mounting bracket. Next, mount the factory exhaust valve motor using the supplied 10 mm bolts and nuts. Once mounted, plug in the factory wiring. Now you can move back to the mid pipe and loosely mount the new 6th forward exhaust pipe using the factory bolts. Then connect it to the factory hanger. Once it's been secured to the factory hanger, tighten the bolts while ensuring that the exhaust flanges are lined up parallel to each other. Next, mount the 6th resonator to the forward exhaust pipe and slide the resonator as far towards the front of the vehicle as possible while ensuring the exhaust clamps are facing down for easy tightening. Using an adjustable support bar, support the resonator to line it up parallel to the ground. Next, you'll mount the new 6th forward S-pipe. This is the pipe with the heat shield built in. Take note of the two leg lengths on the pipe and insert the longer side into the resonator. Push the S-pipe as far into the resonator as possible and then rotate the pipe away from the differential. Over on the factory exhaust, remove the driver and passenger exhaust hangers and transfer them over to the new muffler. Then. Attach the muffler to the factory mounts. Now, mount the rear S-pipe and orient it to line up with the forward S-pipe as seen here. Next, attach the muffler to the center exhaust hanger. Then slide on the provided exhaust sleeve and center it between the two S-pipes. Once mounted, ensure the exhaust sleeve is parallel to the ground and you have at least a half an inch of clearance between the exhaust pipe and the rear subframe. Starting with the resonator, tighten the clamps to a hand-tight state while you work each connection point to a desired position. Then go back through and tighten each clamp with a torque wrench to 40 foot-pounds and ensure that the sleeve clamp is tightened until the flanges touch. Now you can assemble the exhaust tips. Starting on the passenger side, mount the exhaust tip piping and then mount the exhaust tip. By rotating the pipe up and down, you can adjust the height of the tip. 
and then by sliding the exhaust tip, you can adjust the depth. Once you've settled on a position, tighten the clamps with a 16mm socket. Then repeat this process on the driver's side. With that, you're done. Now you can enjoy an aggressive new look and tone for your GR Corolla. Be sure to reach out with any questions to CSR at sixthelement.com.